What's going on everybody? Crazy Dog back with a very special video. Now, I don't usually do these kind of videos, but it had to be done. So before I get into this video, let me give you guys a little history lesson. Entering last night, the largest margin of victory in NBA history was held by my Cleveland Cavaliers, who defeated the Miami Heat 148-60 to on December 17th, 1991. Yeah, the Cavs beat the Heat by 68 points. And up until last night, that was the largest margin of victory in NBA history. Now enter the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Memphis Grizzlies. Now after the first quarter, nobody really thought it was going to get ugly. You know, 31-16, to 16, Memphis led. Things were looking not too good for the Thunder. And then the second quarter happened. Memphis outscored the Thunder 41-20. to 20. And then the third quarter happened. Memphis outscored the Thunder 41-26. to 26. And then by the end of the game, the Grizzlies defeated the Oklahoma City Thunder 152-79. to 79. Yeah, that's right. 73 points. At one point, it was looking like the Grizzlies were going to beat them by 80. But you know what's really crazy about that? The Grizzlies scored more points in the second and third quarters than the Thunder did in the entire game. The Grizzlies scored 82 points in the second and third quarters combined. Whereas the Thunder scored 79 in the entire game. Now you're probably wondering, oh, you know, uh, was Ja playing? No. And the Thunder didn't have SGA or Josh Giddy, And that's their main excuse. But you look at the uh, box score for both teams. Lugens Dort led the Thunder with 15 points. As Trey Mann and Ty Jerome had 12 apiece. And then uh, Watson had 12 off the bench. And Isaiah Roby had 11 off the bench for the Thunder. Okay. Then you look at the Grizzlies. Jaron Jackson Jr., 27 points. He was a plus 42. <laughs> That's not even the worst one. Oh my God. Wait until you see some of these other plus minuses. Then you had uh, Dylan Brooks with 11, Tyus Jones had 10, Stephen Adams had 9, and Desmond Bain had 2. Okay. You go to the bench, you know, you had DeAnthony Melton with 19, Aldama had 18, Conchar had 17, Brandon Clark, Xavier Tillman, and Jarrett Culver had 11. You know you're getting cooked. When Jarrett Culver is actually scoring points. You know you're getting cooked when he's playing in general. But damn. He was a plus 19 last night. Only three players on the Grizzlies scored under 10 points. Adams had nine, like I said. Bain had two. And Killian Tilly had six. Now let's take a look at the plus minuses. So Jackson Jr. was a plus 42. Brooks was a plus 15. Adams was a plus 39. Tyus Jones was a plus 42. And Desmond Bain was a plus 16. Okay. Then you go to the bench. Brandon Clark was a plus 14. Aldama was a plus 52. That means... When Aldama was on the floor, the Grizzlies outscored the Thunder by 52 points. Bruh. <laughs> Killian Tilly had a plus 21. Tillman had a plus 30. 
Contrary had a plus 29. DeAnthony and Melton had a plus 46. And Culver had a plus 19. Not a single minus in that category. Then you go to the Thunder. And oh my god. Basically was a minus 32. Robinson Earl was a minus 56. Dort was a minus 53. Trey Mann was a minus 47. And Ty Jerome was a minus 44. The lowest minus. Yeah, every single player on the Thunder who played was a minus. The lowest one was Deck, who was a minus 18. <laughs> like, how does this even happen? Like, I know the Cavs have had some bad teams. But at least... I know that we've never lost by that much. I didn't think anyone was ever going to come close to that 68-point beatdown that the Cavs gave the Heat in 1991. But sure enough, the Thunder said, hold my beer. And look at that. Now do I think someone or a team will ever surpass 73 point? Probably. But uh, I don't expect that to be for a long time. Because I know one thing. If you get beat by more than 73 points, oh boy. That team is uh, not very good or you just absolutely suck. I mean, you look at the Thunder from the field. They were 25 of 76. 11 of 38 from 3. Whereas the Grizzlies were 60 of 96 from the field and 19 of 36 from three. They shot over 50% from beyond the arc and 62% from the field in general. That's why they won by 73 points. They would not miss. They would not miss. Like, Damn. That's crazy. But yeah, I figured I had to come on here and rant a little bit about that. And the thing is, too, the Thunder don't play for a couple more days. So this loss is going to marinate with them until they play again. I believe they play on the 6th against the Pistons. So yeah, they gotta wait a while before they play again. That's the toughest part of it. Like, imagine being on the plane ride home after getting your butts handed to you by 73 points. I bet you not a single word was uttered in that locker room after that game. They probably went in the locker room, showered, got changed, and left. <laughs> I mean... Grizzlies fans were so petty, they were chanting defense late in the game. Like, oh, yeah, defense. Yeah. Yeah, we're beating them up by damn near 70 points. Yeah, defense. Woo. <laughs> like, how does that even happen, bro? Like, sheesh. And keep in mind, the Grizzlies did not even have jaw. Imagine if they did. Oh, boy. That's crazy, man. Like, they had the bench guys out there pretty much the entire, like, probably third and fourth quarters, and they still dropped 152 on them. Like, look at the minutes for the bench. Aldama had 28 minutes. Tillman, 25. Conchar, 26. Melton, 22. Culver had 14 minutes. And believe it or not, despite the beatdown... This freaking dude over here, Kenrick Williams, still did not play in the game. But he's out. So, at least he didn't have to participate in that crap. <laughs> you know, that's tough. Sitting on the bench, watching your team get assaulted, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's tough, man. That's really tough. But at least, you know, he doesn't have to, uh, well, he didn't have to walk around with a plus minus of minus over 30 or something. 
That's insane. <sighs> wow. Wow. That's tough, man. That's really tough. But yeah, I figured I'd come on here and talk about this game last night. Because I'll tell you one thing. I was checking the scoreboard every once in a while while watching uh, Sports Furious live stream and stuff and watching the other stuff going on. And I was seeing this score. And I'll be honest, after the first quarter, I was like, wow, Memphis is doing really nice. Then I looked again after the third, and I was like, huh? Honestly, I was rooting for the Grizzlies to beat them by 80. I was even beginning to think that they might have been able to eclipse the century mark. There was a point when the Thunder only scored five points in the quarter, in the fourth quarter. But then they started to hit their shots and make it less ugly than it already was. At least they kept it under 80, right? I mean, that's that. But yeah, I did not think anybody would ever touch the 68-point beat down that the Cavs gave the Heat, but... Like I said, the Thunder said, hold my beer. Now they got to live with that. For a couple more days, too. They're going to be all over the news and stuff, I tell you that much. My God. So, with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog. I'll be live tonight for Cavs and Wizards. Hope you guys tune in. Let's see if the Cavs can keep this uh, thing going. And, uh, yeah, let's get it. So, yeah, I'm Crazy Dog 99. Let's go Cavs. And I'm out.